Welcome back, everybody. And it is, oh, hi, Jess. There's Abby. She likes to, she likes to uh, mess with the cats. Anyway, it is a rather chilly day today. It's only 46 degrees out right now and wet again. Yeah, we got, uh, got almost an inch and two tenths of rain last night. So not in the field today. I don't know if we'll be in the field tomorrow or not. I kind of doubt it. Chance of rain again tonight. Not supposed to get a whole lot, but it wasn't any too dry to begin with. And there's Buddy Boy. And the heaters just kicked on. So let me turn those off and I'll tell you what we got going on today. So what we have going on today, I'm not working on the Bronco, not working on the pickup, not working on any vehiculars today, but uh, I wanna talk to you about something I've been rolling around in my mind you know, for a while now. And I can't really record outside here because of the wind. But we're gonna go over to the old shop and, and I'll tell you what I'm thinking. All right, guys, so this is my old shop, which I'm sure some of you have seen before. I've been in here a couple times. Rather dirty right now, hasn't been used, well, hi guys, hasn't been used as a shop in several years, but I have done a lot of work in here. It, hey, 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 what are you doing? Anyway, where was I? Uh, yeah, I've done a lot of work in here over the years. It's not as big as my old shop. I think it is, I think it's, I measured it not too long ago. I think it's 28 feet this way and about 20, I think 22 across, something like that. So it's not as big as, as uh, my other shop. And on this end, you know, the ceiling isn't near as high either. My truck will come in here, but the little antenna I have on top of the truck hits these. But it does fit. And real quick, we'll go over here. And it's a mess in here. I did put some lights in, you know, one up there and one there. They're only 60 watt, that's all I had. There is another one, you know, that's upstairs. But what I'm thinking of doing, I hope you can see, I think it looks dark on my camera and it's actually, you actually can kind of see it. But what I'm thinking about doing, or what I'd like to do, one, clear all this out, and then concrete the floor put a, a new cement floor in over here. Yeah, it's also got an upstairs, maybe an office, I doubt it. Um, great big door over on this side. I have the measurements written down, I don't remember what they are, but I'd put an overhead door in on this side, an overhead door over there. New concrete floor, would have to, would have to build, build the ceiling off of these rafters one way or another. But that way, I could fit one vehicle in over here of some kind. Plenty of room over here, I could park at least three in here. But even if I could just get another one in here or, or two, I think that would work very well. And the ceiling's high enough, could also get a lift in here at some point. But we'll get out of there because I'm not sure if you're going to be able to even see that in there. I need some brighter, brighter bulbs. But anyway, the idea would be insulate this, insulate you know all the walls, the ceiling, everything, get it good and insulated. It needs new windows over on this side. These aren't the original windows. They, they used to look like that, I believe, which that one needs a new pane of glass in it, which I have, just need to get it put in. Anyway, I found these old windows upstairs and rigged them up several years ago. They'll actually, they latch shut and, and they'll open up, but I haven't done that in a long time. And I'd be kind of afraid to, and I've had three of them get broken. That one, 
And then these two, and I think it's from the wind blowing and uh, blowing walnuts off of that walnut tree out there. And they come and hit the windows and broke them out. I don't really know why that started happening. On that old gas station building, it's got, it's got broken windows on this side too. And it's been there for years and years and years. This building was originally built, if you can see that. It says September 1939, Mabel and Margaret. I know who Mabel was. And she died, yeah, it's been quite a few years ago. I'm not sure who Margaret, I don't know who Margaret is. I don't know if she had a sister or, or what. But uh, anyway, that's neither here nor there. But yeah, insulate all the walls and then you have to get some kind of sheathing on the inside. And I've been looking at stuff Boy, to line it with, uh, with metal. I think it's pretty pricey. I'm thinking just take some like quarter inch, uh, maybe just quarter inch plywood or something like that, put it up and then paint it all white. One, it would make it feel a little bit bigger in here. Two, and the main reason would be it'll make it brighter and reflect the lighting a little bit more. So better lighting for making videos and it'd make it look a lot cleaner as well. And it has an old chimney in here. And I was thinking what I could do, instead of putting that hanging heater in the other shop, I could put it in here. It'd be a lot easier to get it up, hang it off of uh, the ceiling here, and then I can exhaust it right out, uh, right out the chimney. That's been done before. I actually had this old, uh, you guys, I actually had this old wood burning stove. Somebody gave that to me, gosh, I don't know, it's, it's been several years ago. Had it rigged up in here at one time, it really didn't didn't do a whole lot. I think just because it's not insulated in here. I had that white torpedo heater in here, and in the winter time, it would run pretty much all the time. It just uh, it just can't really keep it warm in here. No insulation. All you have is this galvanized corrugated steel on the outside of the building. Not much between you and the cold air outside. And not to mention that door isn't exactly airtight. So what I'm thinking, put an overhead door in here, and the door that I have have in the other shop, it's a nine by eight, nine feet wide, eight feet tall. Over here, this opening is, I think it's 11 foot, it's like 11 foot two inches or something like that. It's a weird dimension. And the height on this, I have it written down. Let's see, the height on it is, yeah, 11 foot, two inch opening, and it's seven foot, 10 inches tall. So I wouldn't be able to put a nine foot wide, eight foot tall door in here. And I, I shut the camera off right there because I was looking at that and I'm like, that's gotta be over, you know, looks, looks eight feet to me, but it's, it's uh, what did I say, seven, 10 or something. So, and plus you need room up above it for the torsion spring. I wouldn't be able to put an eight foot door in here, but I would be able to put like a nine by seven in here. My pickup won't fit in a nine by seven. That's what's on the garage up by the house. And if I let the air out of the tires, it probably would, but uh, wouldn't be able to get in on this side. But, but I have the other shop. I could keep it over there. Or I get the, get the floor cemented and everything on this side. It could easily go in there. And so for insula I guess. So for insulation, I would need, let's see. Well, basically to do all the walls, I'm gonna need uh, need about 32, 32 sections, and they need to be eight feet long. For the ceiling, I would need 16 of them. 21 feet long and the weird thing about this ceiling in between all these they're all different dimensions some of them they're narrow some are narrow some are wide kind of odd so would have to uh, cut some insulation down to shove up in there I imagine and then for concrete over here on this side and I may be a little bit low on this um, and I measured all this out and I had it written down in the other shop I figured it at uh, at $100 a cubic yard, 
and that would come out to about fifteen hundred dollars at four inches thick of course at some point if i would put a lift in i want that section being a little bit thicker so probably going to cost a little more than that and that would be if we finish it ourselves i don't know might have somebody else do that i don't know i'm not at that point yet and i have not figured out how much insulation this side would take it would take a bunch so we're talking we're talking quite a bit just to insulate this thing but i was thinking i could do this end of the the building and it wouldn't take near as much to heat it and i really like it i don't know on the whole farm this is my favorite building i don't know why maybe it's just because i've spent so much time in here but and what i really like about this this shop is the windows you can actually see outside whereas in my other shop no windows all i have is my camera set up outside with a tv monitor that i can i can see if somebody pulls in or out or whatever so i don't know just been contemplating things and rolling it around in my head and i would like to redo this building it it's a lot bigger over here on this side i'd have all kinds of room to do stuff the problem is it's going to cost going to cost some money to do it and I just don't have that in the budget right now. Might be able to do this end. I think this would be good for the winter time just for the fact that it wouldn't take near as much to heat it. I could get that hanging heater. I could easily get it hung up in here. And, and there's already a gas line run back here from the LP tank up by the house. So that's what I've been thinking about. I'm going to, I'm gonna clean up in here a little bit. It's just a mess. And it's a good day to do it. There's really nothing else I can be doing right now. Well, I imagine there is, but kind of, kind of sort of taking a day off from everything. Too wet to be out in the field and uh, too cold to paint the Bronco and it's, it's not ready to be painted. I don't have a paint booth set up or anything like that. That will probably come after harvest. So I am going to get to work in here and see if I can clean it up a little bit. Wheels and tires here are off of my son's. He has an avalanche and uh, those are actually his. I got these two old furnaces that I got in here, what, was it last year I got those? I don't know if they work or not. I should have never got them. I'm never going to use them, so now what do I do with them? And my son was kind enough to uh, leave his shop back here, so I don't have to bring mine over. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get to work cleaning this up a little bit. I'll bring him back in when I'm done. What are you doing under there, plot dogs? Look at all the nails and screws that were on the floor. No, a lot of them were, were under the bench here. Yep, brought the heater over here. A little chilly out today, so brought it in here. Actually warms it up pretty nice. Now if I could just get this window fixed. I tried sticking a pane of glass up in there and I was just going to put some caulk on it and see if I could get it to stick. I found a, I found a tube of caulk wherever it went. Now I found this, thought it might work, but it seems like it's just a little, a little too dry. Who knows how long it's been sitting here. It's all faded and stuff, but not much in it either. Didn't work, but have been cleaning the place up a little bit. Got all the wooden stuff that was over here, put it on the other side. That's all my son's stuff. Don't know what he's going to do with it. But anyway, swept the floor and under the bench and stuff. Had to bring my shop back over because the one he had here, there's no filter on the inside, nor is there one out here. I went to use it and uh, most of the dirt and stuff I was picking up was just blowing right out the exhaust. So went over and got mine. Haven't vacuumed the whole floor up or anything. I, I've gone around it fairly good. Went all underneath the bench, cleaned all that up. You saw the pile of nails and stuff that I had. You got the mess that was over here cleaned up. All back behind here is full of crud. This place hasn't been cleaned in, in several years. But uh, and the wind is making something buzz. But anyway, I think I'm going to head back over, back over to the other shop because there's rain not too far away. Yeah, there's rain coming from that direction. I'm not sure how how good the camera's picking up the 
sky color and that kind of thing. It's looking kind of dark. Looking kind of dark over that way. So I am going to, I'm going to grab my heater, drag it back over there, and uh, go back in there. But it is nice being able to see out, see out of here, look out the windows and stuff. I don't know, I just like it over here. It's nice. Not the fanciest shop. I mean, it is what, 80 years old? But, uh, oh, that reminds me, one thing. One thing that's changed over the years, two by fours. This is a true two by four. No idea how old it is. And this is a modern day two by four. Which, of course, doesn't measure two, two by four inches anymore. This one actually does. It's a, it's a true two by, true two by four. Not a real big deal, but I thought I'd show that to you. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get the heater back in the other shop, get out of here before it starts raining, and uh, I'll probably catch you over there. We're back over in, uh, I don't know, what do you call it? The new shop, main shop, I don't know, whatever. Told you it was gonna rain. I don't think it's raining right now, but it did rain a little bit. You can tell down here on the cement. It's cold out, guys. It's like 50 degrees and the wind's blowing. Tomorrow we're supposed to have 40, 45 mile an hour winds. It's just gonna be rotten. So I kind of actually hope it rains enough we can't be in the field because that is no fun. It's gonna be cold and windy and that's just no good when you're unloading at the bin site. It's, it's, uh, it's rather miserable. Anyway, get back into the shop here. Need to fill this tire up, it, uh, it keeps going down. Anyway, just got off the phone with James, Central Oregon shenanigans, him and Kyle. They were working on Kyle's truck last night. They got it all put back together. They got the, the uh, problem up on the front. Before Kyle got it, it hit a, I don't know, it was a tree or a pole or something and it bent one of his radius arms, which it had aftermarket radius arms. They got that all fixed up, and then they took it out for a drive, which go check out their channel because I think they're showing all of that. James is, he got done editing and he's uploading right now, so go check out Central Oregon Shenanigans. He has a new video up, it's on Kyle's truck, getting it all all finished up if you watched our collaboration videos. And then today, Kyle, took it on he t he took it on quite a road trip he's going on a i think he's going on a hunting uh hunting excursion there where he uh it's about it's 200 and some miles away lakeview oregon from where they are and uh i guess everything's going good he sent me a video here just a little while ago trucks running good everything everything's fine says it's kind of a gas hog, especially with 35s underneath of it, but uh, they got it all they got it all up and going last night. So go check out Central Oregon Shenanigans, link down below and on the end screen. And also go check out Zane at HodgePodge Dodge Garage. He puts out some pretty good videos. I like what he does. James, Kyle, and I were kind of teaming up with him. Small channel, he's just getting started out, but I like what he does. Go check him out. And if you like it, hit that subscribe button. Also the little notification bell. Also on my channel and Central Oregon Shenanigans. Hit that notification bell. That way you always know when we upload a video. So anyway guys, drop down in the comments below. What do you think about redoing the old shop? I think it would be, it would give me a heck of a lot more room over there. And I just, I really like that building. But uh, I don't know, drop down in the comments what you think. James was saying, and I have thought it before, and original, I'm sorry for the wind noise, it's blowing in here pretty good, but, and I've thought it before, when I originally built this shop, I mean, this is just an old livestock lean-to up against the barn, and so I built this shop in there. I should have built it all the way out here, put an overhead door here, but to do that, that's gonna be pretty darn expensive too, because I'd have, basically I'd have to rebuild a whole nother shop. It's, uh, it's 30, 30 by 30 out here, and it's 30 by 30 in there. I'd rather take the old shop and turn it into something. Put a brand new cement floor on the one end of it, and then have the smaller end be a lot, lot easier to heat that in the wintertime, that's for sure. I could even put the air conditioner that's in, in the office that I don't use. I could put that in there and probably 
keep it cool in the summertime if I get it all sealed off and insulated and so forth. Anyway guys, tell me what you think about the whole idea. Give this video a big old thumbs up. Comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already. Go check out Central Oregon Shenanigans and HodgePodge Dodge Garage. They'll both be linked down in the description and on the end screen. And if you're looking for a new hoodie, zipper, zipper hoodie, something like that, because it is getting colder out, link will be down in the description for that as well. We'll catch you next time, guys. Bye-bye.